am heartbroken by the news out of Pittsburgh last weekend, and I am sending all of my love to our friends and our viewers there. And in times like these, people like our next guest give me hope. She's an incredible mom from Lumberton, New Jersey, whose gut instinct helped prevent another mass shooting. Please welcome Coberly Bull and her children, Olivia, Sophia, and Isaiah. So nice to meet you. This is. Oh, we are ecstatic to meet you. Well, I'm. <coughs> We're huge fans. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So th this is really uh, this is an amazing story. Uh, as uh, as uh, Mary just told me, this is social media uh, gone right. This yes. is this is actually an amazing story. So uh, you were a single mom. Your husband died away, uh, died uh, seven years ago of a... May of 2012. Of a heart attack. So of a heart attack. That you're now a single mom of three kids. They're beautiful. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful kids. And uh, you received this horrible, um, uh, hateful uh, attack on you and your Vile. children. I mean, really horrible. We're not even going to... You can say what some of the, what he said. Um, he basically wished my children to be hung. Um, he wished us all to be dead, um, said I wanted to be of another race that, um, just very vile right. things. Yeah. My first instinct was to protect them. It was in the morning, so I shooed them out. Because you didn't know if he was coming for you? I or... didn't know if he was in the area. I had no idea where he was. OK, so, so how did you find, then what did you do when you got this? You called the police. I called our local authorities. And um, they took a report, which was fine. But something just didn't sit right with me. Right. I got to work, and I knew my kids were safe. But it just wasn't sitting well. Right. So you're in New Jersey. And you don't know where he is because he blocked you. So, so then I copied and pasted it onto my Facebook, mm -hmm. and it was shared by a good friend of mine, Jerome Henry. Mm -hmm. And the they found out where he was, and he was in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. So he's in Kentucky. So you decide to call the authorities in Kentucky. I called Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. And they said it was a state police matter because I was in New Jersey. And I got patched through to Officer Satterley, who was amazing. He, for lack of a better word, he took it like he was investigating a threat on his own children. And that's what I needed. I needed, I needed a dad. I needed, I needed a dad. You to, needed, yeah. I needed that other part of, to protect them. To, yes. So, because some people would have said, like that person said, it's a state, it, it, you're in a different state. So, so what happens when they go after this guy? They found him pulling out of his driveway with a Kevlar vest, vest a gun, and tw 200 rounds of ammunition, and a detailed attack, plan of attack on the local schools out there. So... <laughs> you prevented... A major attack on and schools. There. That's what they're telling me. Yeah, that's what they're telling me. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's why, with all the craziness that's going on in the world out there, with the the, the recent events that have happened, there were signs. All you have to do is look at what people are posting and look at the hateful. And and somebody, that's when you see something, you say something, instead of everyone looking at it you like there's nothing wrong. You say something, I was going to do anything to protect them. But but good for you. I mean, what an amazing mom, huh? That she, yeah. she doesn't yeah. just get scared and, and, and do nothing, but she goes after and, and then prevents this. Yeah, this, I think that she's not just um, the people in Kentucky's hero, but also our hero. It's good to have a hero as a mom. <laughs> Your mom's a hero. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, and what is the, the uh, officer's, the trooper's name that was in? Officer Satterly. I mean, he, he he's, really, yeah. He's my let's, hero. Let's bring him out then. Oh, no! Oh, my God! <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Oh, well, gosh. This, uh, this is amazing that you, uh, that you took this uh, seriously and decided to, to pay attention to this because a lot of people wouldn't have. Why did you decide to do that? Um, I have a two-year-old myself. Um, when I seen that message, I thought, there's no room for that kind of hate in this world. Um, I called Coberly and I could tell in her voice that she was very disturbed. So, and uh, I seen her Facebook of her three beautiful kids, and I just felt like, you know, I owed it to her to help her. So. Thank God you did. All right. So there's something you you came here to say to Coberly. Yeah. Um, on behalf of the Kentucky State Police and the communities that I serve, um, we want to thank you. Oh. For, for making that phone call. Uh, if you hadn't made that phone call, things would have ended up a lot different. Um, you're a hero in a lot of people's eyes in, in Lawrenceburg, Anderson County, Kentucky, and Shelby County. Uh, furthermore, the people of Anderson County are willing, wanting you to come down at the end of November uh, to our annual Christmas parade. So uh, hopefully we can make that happen. We'll make the trip. It's his birthday. <laughs> What's that? November 30th is his birthday, so it'll be a good That's your birthday. birthday. Yeah. That's going to be a good birthday <laughs> present. Well, we decided we, we felt like you, you need some place to go and relax and just uh, take a vacation and, and just chill. Because that's, that's uh, so we're going to send you on a one week trip to the Intercontinental Fiji Golf Court uh, Resort and Spa. It's a spectacular beach. You can enjoy things like river safari, snorkeling. We're going to feed you. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God!